Hey guys, this is Shaney and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys an app that I absolutely love. It's called the Wish app. Now if you don't have a smartphone, you can also go to wish.com and it's the exact same thing. If you're not familiar with what Wish is, it's basically just a shopping app that offers a ton of different products for really discounted prices. If you're familiar with Beyond the Rack, it's kind of like that. They have all kinds of stuff, you know, it's not just makeup and beauty, it's not just clothes. They do have that, but it's like, uh, there's electronics, there's um, phone accessories, there's camera accessories, I think there's even cameras on there. Um, there's a section for different hobbies that you may have, there's like um, board games and just all kinds of different things, but there's a little bit of something for everybody, and I think that's one of my favorite things about the Wish app. Not to mention everything is like really, really ridiculously reasonably priced. Um, another great thing about the Wish app is that there's really good shipping prices. I think I paid like, a, I think the most I paid for shipping on all the things that I've purchased, which I'm going to show you here in a little bit, is like maybe two or three dollars. Like, a lot of times the catch is, oh, it's really cheap, but shipping is like, oh, you know, ten dollars. You know, and that's just ridiculous. But that with Wish, you're not going to get that. One of the things you need to know before you use this app is, number one, read your product reviews. If you're not reading your product reviews, you may end up with something that um, you didn't think you were going to get. It's kind of like eBay, and then with Beyond the Rack too, they have that kind of thing where you can look at reviews and you can see what people have said about the certain products that they've purchased and if they liked what they've got, like if what they received was, you know, matched up with the description, if it was accurate. Um, a lot of times things take a long time to get to their destination. And, um, I had that problem with the very last product that I ordered uh, from Wish. It took quite a while to get there, um, and I was wondering if I was ever even going to get it. Um, but when I looked at the reviews, I realized that everybody else kind of had that problem, but they did receive their item, and then of course I did too. Um, but you just kind of need to know those things before you go into it. Another thing to note is that much like eBay, um, a lot of the different products that you're going to see are going to be coming from different vendors, different manufacturers, things like that. Um, just different sellers, and so they're going to be coming in from different places, which means if you purchase multiple things at once from the Wish app, um, you are probably more than likely going to be paying separate shipping for the different things. Um, and it's also, they're not going to arrive at the same time more than likely, they're going to be in different packages, things like that. So don't be surprised if you order like two different things at the same time and one gets to you like a week before the other one does. The first thing I got from the Wish app were these half-rimmed glasses. I call them my hipster glasses. Um, these are in, I think tortoise is what the color is on the actual like the earpieces and stuff. But, and it's gold rimmed as well. Um, I think they have a black one with a silver rim on it, but these are so, so cute. I've gotten comp a lot of compliments on these. Um, I love them. I paid $5 for them all together. They were $4 and then I paid a dollar shipping, but I love them. The only problem I had, um, and even still now have, is that the earpieces weren't super uh, lined up. I think they might have gotten bent in shipping, but this is what they look like and they're a little, a little bit crooked, but I have to kind of keep readjusting them. But other than that, they were super cheap and I really, really like them a lot. The second thing that I got from the Wish app, I've also gotten a lot of compliments on, and I'm wearing them right now, and I've worn them in other videos. Um, they're these butterfly earrings. I don't know if you can, if that's a good shot right there. We'll see. I only paid three dollars for these. Uh, they were two dollars, and then there was a dollar shipping on these. Um, these took a little bit, a, a little while to get to me, um, and I wasn't sure when I was going to get these, but I did finally receive them. Um, the actual this part was bent a little bit as well in shipping. I don't know, that's kind of a thing um, that's been happening. But I bent them back and they're, they work just fine. I mean, they're great and I love them and they're so cute. Um, and anybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge butterfly fan. So I was I snatched those up pretty quickly. The third thing that I got um, from the Wish app was this beauty blender right here. It looks a little bit dirty because I just used it. And I tried to clean it but it didn't really works that work out so well for me. Um, but anyway, it is a beauty blender. I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. I only paid like two dollars for it. It was a dollar and then a dollar shipping. Um, right now I'm looking at it right now on my phone and it's two dollars plus a dollar shipping. Sometimes things go on sale. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but I really like it. I don't use it to apply my makeup, but I just use it to blend everything out. 
Um, and I, I find that it works really, really well. It's super soft, it's super cushy, and, and I just really, really love it. The fourth thing that I bought from the Wish app is this purifying peel-off mask um, by Shills Beauty. Now this one I paid the most for, but that's not really saying much because I paid like, I think six or seven dollars. Um, I'm looking at it right now in my order history. It says six dollars and a dollar for shipping, but I think it was on sale when I purchased it. Um, I don't quite remember. This was the one that took me, it took the longest to get here. Um, and I was a little bit nervous about this particular product just because um, I have sensitive skin and I wasn't sure how it would work with my skin. Um, but I looked at a lot of the reviews and, and a lot of the people that purchased it while it took it a long time to get there. They really, really liked the product and liked how it made their skin feel. And that's kind of how I felt whenever I got done using it. Um, I just used it on my nose and my chin and they kind of market it as a pore strip type thing, like a liquid pore strip. Um, it's jet black and it it feels kind of weird at first whenever you're putting it on and it burns just a tiny, tiny bit whenever you first put it on for the first time, but that subsides really quickly. It's not that bad um, and you peel it off and it works pretty good. Um, it made my skin feel really smooth and I really, really like this product and I didn't have any adverse reactions to it either so I was really happy about that. Overall, I really, really love the Wish app. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I've received all of my products <clears throat> and they're all, like I said, really, really, really reasonably priced. Um, they give you the original retail price there so you know what you're saving as well, which I really like. Um, the other thing is if you have the app, they show, like, they tell you, um, like you get a notification on your phone um, for when your item has shipped and then even when it's been delivered so you know when it's there. Um, so I really liked that about it too. The other thing that I was talking about earlier is that things go on sale quite a bit and they also notify you like if you favorite an item or you follow an item on there that you're interested in but you don't want to pay a, a certain price for it, um, they alert you when it goes on sale and sometimes the sales are really, really, really good. Alright guys, you know what time it is. It's time for my health tip of the week. This week's tip is treat yourself. If you're so rigid with um, your routine all the time, um, you're going to go insane. And that, I mean, that's not just diet, that's not just, I mean, that's more of a, um, it applies to the diet part of everything, the lifestyle change, but it also applies to your emotional health as well. That doesn't mean go crazy all the time, um, but once in a while, treat yourself to something. Um, have a cheat meal or, you know, buy yourself something. It doesn't have to be crazy expensive, but just do something for you once in a while just to relax and unwind and you'll feel a heck of a lot better. Trust me. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs <laughs> up. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you um, think of the Wish app if you've used it. Other apps that you would suggest to me um, or that you want me to review. Um, let me know about that. Um, I'll also link you to the wish.com um, website if you don't have a smartphone or you just want to check it out before you download. But anyway, as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.